Okay, so uh, in order to download your backup files for your website, what you're going to do is you want to log into your hosting account. And for this example, we're going to use Bluehost because that's what I have. And honestly, the easiest thing for you to do to not get into too much techno babble and not get too confused is to just contact support. And what support will do is they'll create a file for you and it'll contain everything in one place. That's what I did. I just contacted support. Hey, can I get a backup file? And they're like, okay, it's ready. So once that's taken care of, you're going to head on over to advanced. And then from here, what we're going to do is wait for that to finish loading. Obviously, we're going to click on file manager. And this is your cPanel. This is actually where it gets actually, this is the stuff that you're supposed to actually be going through. If like, like five, 10 years ago, like the first time I created a, my, like my first website, my first blog, that's what it looked like. And it was so confusing. I had no idea what to do. They've made things so much easier to navigate now because at the end of the day, the only thing you should be focusing on as a blogger and a content creator is creating content, not making websites look like websites. So what we're going to do is we're going to head on over to right now. We're in the control panel, CP file manager, and we're just going to scroll on down and support already messaged me and they said that the name of the file is actually called um what's it called it's not backup tar it's called site tar let me see where it's at um uh, let me see let me see let me see public html and yeah so you're gonna head on over to public html and we're gonna scroll on down and as you can see this one was created at 11 42 a.m 3.7 gigs and this controls this has access to all the files from my four blogs so we're just gonna right click on that and just download it and that's it um, I'm gonna move this down here so you guys can see that it's downloading and yeah that's pretty much it uh, once the file finishes downloading what you do is in the event that you do switch hosting um, providers you're just gonna upload that information and one in one tip that I can give you about all this stuff about no matter what it is you're doing, what you're trying to figure out online, the best thing to do is to always contact support. Let support walk you through everything and then try to do it yourself. And because the first time around, there's just so much to do to this. There's so much to, you know, the online world and the Internet, like websites, all that stuff that you don't want to mess something up because you're trying to figure things out on your own. You know, it's kind of like, oh, something's wrong with your car and you try to fix it yourself, like with a piece of bubble gum or a piece of tape or like a paper clip. That's not safe. You know, find someone who knows what they're doing and then have them walk you through it. And then you try it out. You know, when I used to manage restaurants people i would have to train people and my method was always i'm going to show you how to do it then we're going to do it together and then you're going to do it by yourself so this is basically kind of the same concept so once the file finishes down finishes downloading that's pretty much it like i said um just for just for shits and giggles i'm going to show you something real quick uh we're going to log into one of my blogs and what we're going to do is Let's see if we can get this down pack down business so I'm just trying to show you something real quick so you guys can do this for any website on the planet by the way I'm pretty sure you can don't do it for all of them because sometimes you might just get yourself in some trouble so we're gonna right click look at that and we're gonna click on inspect and once we click on inspect you're gonna see what's gonna happen if it happens Okay, so you see the stuff that popped up? All this stuff that's popping up? Check it out. All this, all this over here, this is what, this is what each individual website, like, web page is consisted of. You see? You're going to highlight something, it's going to tell you what it is. Background color, iframe, all of this. So back in the day, this is, this is how coding worked. This is how creating a website worked. You have to type all this in the way it looks here, and that's how this would this this would look but nowadays you literally just plug and play you know you type in something and it fixes it whatever and that's pretty much it guys that's exactly what it takes to download a backup file of your website and it's very important because you never know what might happen you know uh something might get erased um you might mess something up uh there might be like a problem uh there may be a glitch in the system and it's better to just have your backup files like i said you might want to move transfer stuff um Sometimes hosting services crash, and if you don't have your information, you're shit out of luck. So, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. That's all it takes.